This is Steve Tobias with NearFX and the tip of the week how to make better PaleoScan horizon stacks. Seismic interpretation often starts the same. You have your raw 3D seismic, you pick your horizons level by level while looking at the structural geology using some of the new tools like thin fault likelihood shown here. PaleoScan takes a slightly different approach and any horizon that can be auto-tracked is auto tracked full stop with this new approach what the interpreter is doing is different instead of picking horizon by horizon the job becomes becomes one of a jigsaw puzzle putting patches or mini maps together to create a 3d chronostratic framework where the relative geologic time of each reflector is set the final model, shown here, offshore Louisiana, uh, serves as a basis for attribute maps at all levels. Uh, this is a change in the interpretation workflow, and it's a powerful change because it provides more speed and much more granularity. It's a force multiplier for exploration companies. Seismic facies is on the left, amplitude slices, and they correspond to the datum seismic on the right, which is sorted by geologic time. So the question becomes, when you're interpreting a zone of interest between, in this case, the green and the blue horizons, how do you make the horizon stacks from which you create the various attribute maps? Do you take 20 slices through that? Or do you take 200 slices through that? Let's talk about that for a second. By looking at this format, in the upper left, we have relative acoustic impedance. And in the upper right, what we're looking at is the thinning attribute, which is not possible to make without an RGT model. Here, it equals more or less the filled accommodation space during deposition, as the uh, diagram on the bottom right shows. So when you take this, these attributes, uh, and slice 20 times through a zone of interest, uh, here over a course of nine seconds, we see the type of analysis you get. Is this sufficient? Well, it might be, but let's compare it to what happens with a much more finely sampled product. Here are 200 sequences, and any geologist that's trying to understand the environment at deposition has to look at this and say, you know, I have a much better feel for what's going on with this uh, much more finely sampled stratigraphy. It greatly aids in a seismic stratigraphic analysis. That's particularly emphasized by comparing the two. As we go through uh, from bottom to top, if you look closely, you'll see the yellow horizon moving up as we go. On the left is a lumpy 20-slice sample. On the right, it's a much more finely sampled. And uh, I think that uh, the summary here for everyone is that while horizon stacks are a powerful force multiplier, it's very important to carefully choose the correct density of slicing. Too few granularity is lost, and too many, and it's inefficient. Uh, that's the tip of the week from the NearFX, the company that does near-field exploration. We offer advanced uh, training in paleoscan techniques uh, for those that are interested uh, and, uh, and uh, in associated technologies that complement paleoscan. Uh, topics include model building and poor signal to noise, the use of the new 2019 release fault capabilities, the optimal sequence stratigraphic workflow, best practices in geobody mapping, the use of spectral decomposition, the power of thinning attributes, integration with logs and structural geology, and much more. To learn more about our capabilities, please visit our website at www.nearfx.com. And uh, very happy to come and provide a free lunch and learn to show the type of training we do. Just send an email to me, Steve Tobias, at steve at nearfx.com. Thanks for your time.